not a gold mackerel, but a silver salmon. Next on PLD Projects Crown Jewels. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to PLD Project Crown Jewels. I am your host, PLD, and this week's song, a very interesting one, Silver Salmon. We are nearing the tail end of the News of the World era at this point. Uh, this is a rehearsal from that session. It's a strange track. It's a strange track, but we're going to dive right into it and hear Silver Salmon written by Tim Staffel. Yes, not written by anybody within the band, Tim Staffel, if you'll remember, is the third member of Smile, the pre-band of Brian May and Roger Taylor. Tim Staffel played bass and also was the lead vocalist. He is the one who wrote this song, which means this is really a Smile song, although Smile never really recorded it. Silver Salmon was not even really demoed by Queen, although recordings have surfaced. This one particularly that I have now uploaded to my YouTube channel, hopefully it sticks around and doesn't give me a strike. This is a version that was recorded during the 1977-ish sessions, maybe 76, 77, during those views of the world sessions. And uh, it's interesting, like I said, because it's so old school, like people thought this was maybe, again, from the first album, that era. But according to most Queen scholars now who have listened to it, this comes from the news of the world sessions. It is that, that drum sound is specific to that session. Freddie's voice is a little bit more stronger than it was back in the day. Um and what I found from this is that Gary Taylor, who is a, a queen a legend of sorts, he is very queen, very much a queen scholar, has worked with them, was actually asked about that at one point. And he had said that it was a song a, a like Feelings, Feelings, with the, which the band would often break into in rehearsal to warm up. They throw a lot of covers in there as well. Um, and the interesting part of that is right in this song, which we're going to get into short and short notice here. It opens up with Freddie basically saying, oh, he won't know it. But and it's like, well, does, what does that mean necessarily? That actually, could that be John who doesn't know it? Because quite frankly, it came from Smile. Maybe they recorded it or they played with it before John became a member of Queen. Um, it would be weird if they waited six years, five, six years after that to actually start trying to play it again. But hey, who knows? Uh, anything is possible in this world. Now, according to a Queen fan on the Queen chat forum site, uh, Queen 274, he said that he asked Tim Staffel about this on Instagram, and it seemed like a very believable thing. Tim Staffel's kind of pretty open with fans, from what I've heard, if you actually make it to a discussion point with them. And he asked about Silver Salmon. Uh, Tim Staffel was reported to who was a response. Again, I don't know. I didn't see this post. This is somebody posting. So if somebody, if this is, if this is bullshit, I, I apologize. But I think it's interesting bullshit nonetheless. Uh, it does sound like Tim uh, in, his, in his verbiage. Uh, so I, I believe it, but uh, who knows? Uh, he uh, he said, yes, that was a song I was working on when I quit Smile. I was astonished to learn that Brian, Roger, and Freddie had recorded it. The version they perform, however, is very different than my own. I recorded it myself many years ago when I was assigned to Dick James Music during a demo session, but all of that work was lost, including another half dozen original songs. I have not felt tempted to re-record it since, though. It belongs to an earlier period, a different stylistic idea. And uh, he basically said that this song was about a spacecraft burning up on re-entry, and Freddie may have creatively adjusted some of the lyrics. Uh, so interestingly enough, it's got some it's got some history to it. It's got some weight. But as far as we know, this features Freddie on lead vocals, Brian on guitar, John Deacon on bass, and Roger on drums. It is a quick burst of a song. Um, before you know it, let's now just get right into it. If you've never been here before, we are we usually listen to all the different versions of the song uh, and try to figure out which is the best version of the crown jewel version. In this case, we only have one version. So this is the crown jewel. It's the best one we got. Uh, but we still like to hear it and talk about it and go from there. So if you look in the show notes, there's a link to a Google Doc and it'll have a link to the YouTube version of uh, Silver Salmon that I uploaded again on my own channel, Unlisted. Hopefully it's going to, uh, hopefully none of the uh, queen sites will uh, hunt me down for it. I don't know. Uh, if it gets uh, stricken, I'll have to take it down. But otherwise, nothing so far. We've been good for a couple of days now, so hopefully that stays true. Uh, so yeah, click on that link, listen to it yourself, come back. I'll talk about it a little bit, and uh, then we'll have to rank it, rate it, and do all that good stuff. All right, see you in a few.
And there you have it. Not much to say about the very simple track. Obviously, it's not a finished track. I never bothered finishing it. It's just more of a jam session. Uh, it's a, uh, it's definitely got a song structure to it, but it's basically riffing. You can tell they're warming up. Freddie's voice is cracks. Uh, he's definitely not a finished vocal at all. Roger's drumming is overloaded. He's overpowering. He's just kind of like getting the feel of everything. You know, he, I don't think he would ever go this far with the kitchen sink on that Queen album, to be honest with you. This is much more of a, just getting those sounds out, kind of getting the feel out. Uh, Brian's guitar is kind of riffing through things. Um, it's about, I, it feels like there's definitely songs I lose to get a full version of this one done. But at the same time, I can see why they never really finished it because it's kind of got a weird, it's kind of got a weird take to it. Um, weird finish to it, I think. Uh, I do like the the breakdown in the, in the middle. The uh, Her body was lies burning and lies and burning, falls into the cold sunrise. Some cool lyrics. I don't know. Those are, sound like Tim's lyrics. Uh, breaks back into the Zeppelin esque type of riff and everything else. Uh, it, it's a, a fine fun curio to have i'm glad i have it it's always good to hear more of the band together but if i never heard it again it wouldn't be the last it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either so there you have it my friends with no more versions to listen to this is the crown jewel so let's move on to rating the song itself on a scale of one to eleven because we always turn things up to eleven here on pld projects i'm going to give silver salmon five that's fine it's a fun rehearsal to listen to i'm glad i have it but it's not really even feeling like a complete song. It's definitely kind of like a song that the band would take more care of in time in terms of like finding a good vocal take, uh, maybe add harmonies to it. I think it could have had more, a lot of different things. Again, cool to listen to. I'm glad I have it. Um, it's definitely not going to fit into my top 10, though, so we don't have to worry about that either this week. Uh, that is actually all we have to do. We listen to the song once. There you go. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. If this is your first time here. Click that like, click that subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think about the song, this song, other songs, rest of the songs. And I'll say to you next week. Next week, we are going back to the well. News of the World, one last time. This time, it's the News of the World tours. Um, some interesting songs performed on them as well. And uh, we'll talk all about that. Break that down before breaking into the jazz album from 1979. But that is next week, not this week. This week, you're here on PLD Projects. And if you enjoy this, you can join our Patreon, PLD Projects, patreon.com slash PLD Projects, rather. Uh, we have a bunch of different people there. Jeff Alterman, Austin Cadell, Brandon Buckingham, all great people. A ton more. You really helped me keep the lights out. I couldn't appreciate you guys more. Uh, we love you guys so much. Um, yeah, and we said everything else we need to say. I guess that's it. So uh, make sure you go fishing, get some silver salmon for dinner, come home, and then we'll come back for next week. Until then, keep yourself alive. You got to this week. Bye now.